This is the photograph of Oyster. He lived from 1777 to 1851. This activity may be looking very simple these days but it was very significant because it could establish a link between the electricity and magnetism. This is the activity how we are going to conduct. We will have one current carrying conductor under which a magnetic compass needle is placed. Now when the switch is on then the magnetic compass needle will be turned. First let us see that. Here I took one battery eliminator. This battery eliminator can run from 2 to 12 volts. So this is the wire. The red wire is connected to the positive of the battery eliminator. This is a black wire connected to the negative of the battery eliminator. This is an aluminum rod and this positive terminal is connected here and the negative terminal is connected here. You can see this magnetic needle is placed in the north-south direction. Remember magnetic needle is a small magnet it always comes to rest in the direction of north and south. Now, I have taken two volts here. If I switch on the battery eliminator, you will observe the deflection in the magnet magnetic needle. That's what Oersted has observed it first. Okay, let's see that. Now I am switching, switching it on. You can see the deflection in the magnetic needle Previously it was aligned in the north-south direction. Now it is moved away from the north. That indicates that this current carrying conductor has influenced the magnetic needle by virtue of the magnetic field produced by the current carrying conductor. Now let's repeat the same experiment with 4 volt. Now it is an expected result that the deflection should be more. Let's observe it. See, previously the deflection was up to 20 in the reading. Now it is 40. Now let me try with 40. Let me try with 6 volts. You can see the deflection more than the 40. We can do the same experiment by reversing the current. 